All right, Mom, we're ready to go, huh? Yeah. And Slam the Frog, we're back at the home church, Cowboy Terry, yeehaw. But, <laughs> but most importantly, everyone, it's all about God, you know? Thank you, Jesus, for bringing us back. Uh, my beautiful mom, Slime, he's family. <laughs> he's going to be with me, and we're going to praise the Lord. And Mama, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you. This, yeah. And Dad, who passed away, and the angels, and everyone else. And we could all pray and have a good time in the Lord. So God, please forgive us of our sins. Keep all people away from us. We thank you for your blessings. Use me, God, to your glory, to speak to your people. Put it in my heart, Lord, what you want me to say. And just we just praise your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, it's all about you. Amen. 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 And if I could give a title today, Mama, I think I would call it Kids and Their Parents Should Get Alone. Or, or you could call it, you know, be good to your dad and mom, you know, because uh, God wants everyone, God wants families, you know, to show each other love, you know, not for everything to be out of control, you know. <laughs> All right, <laughs> like you go in the amusement park and stuff is fun apart. The rides and stuff, you can't have fun. <laughs> there got to be unity, right, Mom? Right. right. Amen. Add a little humor so people can understand. But but this is serious, folks. It's serious. Please turn to Ephesians 6 1. And Mom, I know I was sharing this with you before we started this home church, huh? That as a kid, I grew up learning this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so praise the Lord. This scripture. When y'all get there, say amen. It says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Yes, all the young folks out there, please pay attention. This is for you. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. You may not always want to do the things your dad and mom wants you to do, but they know what's best for you. God wants you to honor them, to love them, huh? Don't talk back, no rolling the eyes, no sticking out the tongue, no, no bad words, no middle fingers. Don't try to hurt them or, or scare them or threaten them, right? Do your best to get along with them. And if your parents do something that you don't like, pray to God for them. And the Lord will work it out. Amen? Amen. Verse 2. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment we promise. Do your best to look up to them and uh, listen to them, you know, because it's, it's for your own good. Verse 3, that they may be well with thee, with you, and thou mayest live long on the earth. God going to give you a long life, people, um, young folks, kids, you know, when you do your best to, um, to do what your mom and dad says, you know, and be good, you know. I know it's hard, but uh, get alone. Verse 4. Uh-oh, this is for fathers. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we read 3 already. Uh, we're on verse 4 now. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's all right. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yes, for, like for the fathers and mothers. You know, in other words, don't make your kids, don't, don't make them... Um, mad on purpose. Don't do anything to get on their nerves, you know, because you can. No, you got to love them. Take your time with them. Let your kids know that you're there for them. Just because you have the role of being a parent doesn't mean you should abuse your power, you know? So uh, keep that in mind, people. You know, bring them up. Bring up the kids the right way to love God, to learn about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's very important. God is first. Now we're going to all go to um, Proverbs, chapter 19. Chapter 19, verse 26. Uh-oh, but this is going out to the kids that are being bad and, and, and disobedient and stuff. This is a verse for y'all, so pay attention. You don't want to be this way. Because God don't like this, and dad and mom don't like this. Okay, it says, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 26. He that wasteth his father, 
like if you do violence towards them, trying to hurt him, trying to kill him or something, and chase away his mother. You know, you scare your mom. She don't want to be around you. Whatever's going on, it's a son that cause of shame. Ooh, ooh, like embarrassment. It's not good, people. You don't want that, kids. Please don't do that. And bring of reproach. So it says, He that wastes of his father and chaseth away his mother is a son that causeth shame and bring of reproach. Don't be that way, kids. Don't get in arguments with your parents and then, I mean, of course, you're going to have disagreements and differences, but God wants you to do it in love, whatever you do, you know. You, you you have to do you have to be together, not separate, right? Not divided. Mom, anything you wanna bring? Any words? But if you're fine, I Oh good. Thank you. And God wants me to give examples, you know, like you say for example, a kid wants to play his video games, but dad and mom says, It's time to eat or it's time to do your homework and the kid's like, No, I don't want to or they wanna play with their toys or hang out with their friends or do something else, you know, um God wants you to obey your parents and to learn, right? Said that in Ephesians, and then say disobey them. So um, even if you feel that your parents are not honorable, if you feel like your mom and dad do things that are wrong, um, still no excuses. Pray for them. You're not perfect either. Ask the Lord to help them, you know, and show them what to do, huh? So they could be good dad and moms to you. So um, just want to bring that up because we see this generation. See on the news sometimes, kids. Um, do things to their dad and mom, or vice versa. And it's sad, mom, right? You know what? Yeah. There needs to be more love. Mother leaving her baby in the toilet or something else going on. I can't believe it. And I know it breaks God's heart because he loves everyone. Um, just try your best, people. Try your best, kids. Even if you're teenagers, um, to look after your dad and mom. Do, do your chores. Do things that you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give God the glory for helping me when I was growing up to get along with my dad. And mom, even with you, even though you married my dad when I, back in 99 and I was about, you know, a teenager. Right, mom? Mm -hmm. I did my best, son, to honor you. Oh, yeah. And dad, you know, I'm not saying I was an angel, but glory to God for helping me. I just hope just encourage young folks out there to, um, Amen. right, mama, mm -hmm. to get close to God. And to love him and to love your dad and mom. And I guess that's going to be it today. And um, if y'all have any questions, you know, you're always free to ask me or ask someone that you know. And God wants me to tell you real quick, even if you don't have a dad and mom, but you have a foster parent or someone who looks after you like a dad and mom, honor them. Maybe your grandparents, a neighbor that you look up to as a parent figure or a guardian. It could be anyone who's been like a dad or mom to you. Honor them. Love them, huh? Someone at your church, right? Who's been like a, a church mother, um, a church father. Honor them. You know, show people respect. And God will bless you. Amen. And y'all have a good night.